What's up, Terry? It's Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm Maria. And I'm Brenda. And, and you're, you're watching, watching THS TV. Attention AP students, don't forget to register for your AP exam in the counselor's office before school or during lunches. That's right, Brenda. Registration will be accepted until this Friday, March the 7th. Okay, well, how much is it? Well, if you don't have free or reduced lunch, it's 89 bucks. And if I do, Maria? The cost is only $25 per exam. Does it have to be in cash? You may pay by cash, but you can also pay with check or money order. Don't pass up this opportunity. If you have any more questions, you can ask Ms. Vogler in the counselor's office. It's time to vote for who's who. This is for all classes, freshmen through seniors. This is Class Clown, Mr. and Mrs. DHS, and much more. Can I go during class? No, Maria. You have to come to the yearbook room, number 119, during your advisory or lunch. Final voting is tomorrow. Today is the last day to order your cap and gowns without any late fees. Go online to www.balfour.com and save yourself that $15 late fee. You must have a cap and gown to walk the stage in May. This Friday is the deadline if you want to be in PALS next year. If you love being around children and have a positive attitude, PALS is for you. Let's talk sports. Vibe Magazine is holding a poll for the outstanding athlete, and our very own Crystal Reed is one of the finalists. Go online to the website shown on the slide and vote for Crystal. Voting ends today, so get online and vote as many times as you can. As you know, Crystal is an outstanding athlete on the basketball team. Our softball team played in the LCISD tournament this weekend and lost their first game to Sealy 15-1. Leading hitters were Samantha Rodriguez, Alyssa Ramirez, and Julie Vela. In girls' varsity soccer, the Lady Rangers lost to George Ranch 5-0. Yasmin Hernandez had 34 saves. For the boys, the, they beat George Ranch 4-2. Scoring goals were Sergio Gonzalez, Alex Rosendez with two goals, and Pedro Ramirez. The junior varsity also beat the Longhorns 2-0. Robert Chancho, Chacon sorry, and Christian Parada scored goals. And now to Michael for track and field results. Thanks, Maria. Our runners did quite well at this track meet over the weekend. Nelson Williams placed first in the 200-meter dash and second in the triple jump. The relay team of Blackburn, Hinojosa, Maxwell, and James placed second in the 4 by one meter relay. Ronnie Fobbs placed second in the long jump and third in the triple jump. Matthew Williams placed third in the, the pole vault, and Matt Roberts placed fourth, and Grant Hruz, Hruz placed sixth. In the high jump, James Ives placed fourth, and Vontae Davis placed fifth. Jonathan Lopez placed second in the sh shot put and fourth in the discus place. Philip Roberts placed sixth. Jake James placed fourth in the long jump. The team of DeLeon, Ruzik, Fobbs, and Reed placed third in the 4 by 4 meter relay. The team of Roberts, Hinojosa, Reed, and Nelson placed fifth in the 4 by 2 relay. Sh great showing, guys. The next meet is Friday against the Rice Birds. And that's it for sports, and now back to the main desk. Thanks, Michael. Many of us waited in 29 degree weather for the bus this morning. This is the weather, this is the weather going, I'm sorry, is the weather going to get any warmer the rest of this week? Not until Wednesday or Thursday. Expect freezing rain tomorrow and cold temperatures to hang around. Good news is that we do head into spring break with some warmer temperatures. Our vocabulary word of the day is painstaking, which means very careful or diligent. So that means I'm a painstaking person. Anyways, <laughs> um, happy birthday wishes go to Coach Lofton. Also to Angel Medell, Claudia Zaragoza, Eduardo Sequeira, Elizabeth Gardner, Eric Tejada, Ingrid Velasquez, Jasmine Garza, Caitlin Pettit, and Angel Rubacalba. Our inspirational quote of the day is... Sometimes good things fall apart, so better things can fall together. Um, well, what about a joke for today? Okay, well, what do you get when you offer a stupid monster a penny for his thoughts? Um, I'm not sure about that one. You sure? I'm sure. Change. We'd like to ask anyone <laughs> putting up flyers to not cover up flyers that are already there. There's a lot of wall space in the school, so please don't cover up another club's announcements or take down the flyers. That's just polite and good, man good manners, guys. 
Yeah. We close today's show with two videos for you, Rangers. The first one is about This Week in History. And the second one is a bunch of cute hairstyle ideas for prom this year. On behalf of the entire THS TV crew, I'm Maria. And I'm Brenda. Saying have, have a, a good, good Monday, Monday and stay warm. Thank you.